Hello. I'm doing a video on something that I think is rather relevant because I've seen a lot of people uh, do reviews or comparisons on Gibson Les Pauls, the standard ones or custom ones, compare them to a Gibson Les Paul studio and say something to the extent of this is the workhorse version uh, and they tend to also make a comment about the fact that there is the Epiphones out there which you can then hot rod or turbocharge by putting other elements in this. The comparison video that uh, Joe Bonamassa did about his signature models which had an Epiphone as well as a Gibson Studio as well as a Gibson custom model and he did some uh, comparisons. Now people tend to say that uh, you can substitute the pickups in an Epiphone but actually I find it relatively difficult to find good YouTube videos of people doing the comparison in terms of build quality these instruments in my humble opinion are absolutely top notch uh, I have nothing bad to say about Epiphone and actually I started playing Epiphone after I uh, took my Les Paul on the road for eight years or something uh, it was breaking my heart to see how better than bruised the instrument actually was uh, after eight years of taking it to filthy bars uh, small venues small gigs and I needed what uh, Rob Chapman described as a workhorse that I wouldn't be devastated with if it had a nick a cut or a dent every here and there uh, something that was not in the price bracket of two thousand plus dollars or two thousand plus euros for that matter um, something that I could customize and that I would feel comfortable with taking the pickups out of uh, I'm plugged through what I think is a wicked pedal board um, and I'm going into uh, this Roland Cube 60 uh, I used to gig a lot using two Roland Cube 60s a lot of people gave me grief about it. I think that if you set him to a uh, Fender Blackface modeling, uh, crank him in terms of gain a tiny bit so that they just do not break up. Uh, EQ basically smack in the middle, uh, slightly uh, pushed presence, uh, no reverb on the amp. Then they sound absolutely amazing. They're quite durable. I think they actually um, perform better than the Hot Rod 2 uh, Fender Deluxe which I uh, used to take on the road for years and years on end. I think these uh, with a, a stereo setup perform better. Uh, I'm gonna get a nice cranked sound out of this and then go through a couple of different guitars on the same heavily distorted setting uh, Little Charmer by Frank and Bali. I'm going to switch uh, near the end of uh, the, the melody line I'm going to switch from the neck position to the bridge position so that you hear both of them and I'm going to do that on every single run that I do um, Here goes
this was a, a nice introduction um, to guitar tuning, basically uh, putting new pickups into uh, pre-existing guitars and making them better. Um, I hope this was uh, somewhat useful. Um, I think it's one of the best things you can do to a cheap guitar, just replace the pickups and, and you basically have a, a whole new instrument to work with for as little as $250. I mean, So I hope this was useful, uh, signing off and, and see you soon.